Hello guys, Disney Freak 39 here, and today we are at Hollywood Studios because I'm gonna be trying what I personally believe is one of the worst restaurants here at the Walt Disney World Resort. And my viewers on Discord and Twitch have been begging me to try out this place for the longest time to change my opinion on it. So that's what we're gonna do in today's video. So here I am outside of Pizza Rizzo, which I think is probably one of the weakest quick service restaurants here at Disney. And this was actually a Toy Story themed restaurant called Pizza Planet, of course, from the first Toy Story movie, but it was re-themed to fit into the Muppets courtyard and became Pizza Rizzo. So I got my food. I'm gonna be trying three different items and a drink so I can give my best honest opinion on the overall restaurant. So we have an appetizer right here, which is gonna be our Caesar salad, our main entree, which is a sausage and pepperoni pizza, a chocolate cannoli for dessert. And for our drink, we have a frozen peach bellini. So let's take a sip of this frozen bellini. That's really good, really refreshing. I'm gonna give it like an eight, maybe even a nine out of 10. It's really hot out right now, so this is great. Our Caesar salad. It's literally so basic. It's literally lettuce, parmesan cheese, croutons, and your dressing. I mean, oh, it just fell. I'll give it like a, a six out of 10. Now it's main event time. Let's get a slice of this pizza. No cheese full. And we'll see how it is. I'm gonna assume right off the bat that it's probably gonna be super basic frozen pizza, but you never know, maybe they'll surprise me. It's like Costco or Sam's Club pizza. The crust is extremely doughy. Like it's an all right flavor for this part. Then once you get to the crust, there's literally no flavor at all. I'm gonna give this like a 4.5 or a five out of 10. There are so many better options for pizza at the Walt Disney World Resort. I got some Parmesan cheese and some crushed red pepper. I'm gonna add it to the pizza and hopefully it makes it better. The crushed red pepper just helped minimize the taste. I'm gonna individually try the topping. So here's the pepperoni literally just pepperoni and that sausage yeah there's literally nothing to it it's exactly what you think it is and the chocolate cannoli I'm excited for this one oh that is that's not like cannoli to me Either there's like mint in it or it tastes expired. I'm also judging off the fact that I'm coming from an Italian family who loves their cannolis. But yeah, this this is not that good. Three or four out of 10. I'm sorry guys, you wanted me to like it so much, but I just can't get behind that place. I just think it's overpriced Costco and Sam's Club food. And even the interior has changed so much since Pizza Planet. The only thing that I like about that is in the interior on the second floor, they have like a wedding chapel hall for like Rizzo and his friends are like basically catering a wedding and they like play, you know, like real party music that's not Disney, which is kind of cool. So it's like copyrighted party music, which I love. I would say the only people that should eat at Pizza Rizzo are those who are picky eaters and really don't want to, you know, try new things because at Hollywood Studios, I could have got so many better meals for that price. I spent $25 on that meal. I could have went over to Docking Bay 7 at Galaxy's Edge or Woody's Lunchbox and got a much better different and probably better quality meal. I had to leave Muppets Courtyard. I'm walking into a Batu. I had to go to a different planet. I had to just escape the pizza. I will say one good thing about Pizza Rizzo, that frozen peach bellini was way better than it had any need to be. I would go back to Pizza Rizzo just to get that drink. Last time I was here, I wanted to see if Rise of the Resistance had a single rider line and it didn't offer at the time, but now I'm pretty sure it is back every day. So we're gonna go and check it out because I wanna go on Rise of the Resistance so bad and it has been way too long. So I didn't record Rise of the Resistance because I've been on that ride so many times, but the single rider actually bypasses two of the pre-shows. So you still see the interrogation pre-show, but you missed the first two, which I don't mind as I've been on the ride so very many times, but I think single rider definitely will help you get on the ride quicker if you've already experienced the ride. But if it's your first time, go through the normal queue because then you get to see everything that the ride has to offer. I was also shocked that we actually saw the Kylo Ren animatronic. If you guys have been watching my videos in the past, I never see that Kylo animatronic because he's always broken. 
but he was actually working today when I wasn't recording. Very good. Before we end our day here at Hollywood Studios, we need to say goodbye to Lightning McQueen's Racing Academy, which is leaving here literally any day now and being replaced by a villain show that will arrive in summer of 2025. I should have worn my Lane McQueen Crocs today. I forgot them. I'm so surprised they're closing this showdown because it only came out five years ago. And usually Disney likes to make their shows last like more than five years. But I guess they're trying to get the Disney villains introduced to everyone before the villains land comes to Magic Kingdom. So let's go and head inside and watch the show one final time. because you were helping the king. They say my championship was a fluke, which it wasn't. I'm here to settle this once and for all. Let's race, McQueen. You got this, buddy. Remember, you don't need to know where you're going. Right. I just need to know where I'm going. Thanks, Sabre. All right. How am I doing, everyone? Oh, no. oh, yeah, stickers. You're making Doc proud. Hey, thanks. All right, Chip. Now it's just you. I thought the show was definitely cute. I have seen it before and I don't mind that it's leaving because honestly I'm kind of curious to see what they do with the villains with Disney. Um, but I gotta be honest. I don't know what there's gonna be for kids after this leaves because Disney Junior is probably gonna leave for Monsters Inc. So they're gonna get rid of Lightning McQueen's. And I feel like Hollywood Studios doesn't really have too much stuff to offer for the younger audience. So we're gonna see what Disney does to uh, balance that. And with that being said, we are gonna be ending our day at Hollywood Studios. I know it was a short video and that's because I actually have to head into work. I got to come to the park before my shift started, which is kind of nice. And I got to film another video for you guys instead of just sitting home and editing. So um, if you guys enjoyed the shorter videos, let me know because maybe I'll have to come to the park more often before my shifts. And if you guys want to suggest future videos for me, make sure you join my Discord server. It's linked down below and you guys can help me pick my next couple of videos because my viewers wanted me to come to Pizza Rizzo so bad. So I listened to them and I tried it. And even though I may not have loved it as they really wanted me to, at least I got to expand and try some new things that I probably wouldn't have tried. But thank you guys so very much for watching and I will see you guys next time.